clinical record keeping. Find the patient and click on exam. The main exam screen gives you an overview of the last examination, if there was one. The exam screen is split into five pages, prelims, refraction, ocular health, fit and final. To start a record, click on New Record. This will automatically take you to the prelims screen, where you can fill in the occupation, driver, yes or no, PDU user. You can click on As Before to bring through the previous details there. You can click on Routine Exam if you wish, or on the far right you can use the drop-down box to help you insert history and symptoms. You can click as before for all the history or again use the drop down box or the buttons for no ocular history and the general health. The drop down boxes will remember new entries that you put if they're not already in the list. Insert cover test details, manually or use drop down boxes, pupils, near point of convergence, motility, and then go on to refraction. On the refraction page, you can click the last RX to pull the previous prescription through, or click on previous spectacles at the bottom choose the one they're wearing, click copy and paste it into the wearing boxes at the top. You can insert their VAs then move on to subjective, the subjective button will pull through the previous subjective to make it slightly easier. You don't need to put, use the fives at the end of 1.2 and what 1.75s and things. If you just type 1.2 it'll pull through as a 1.25. The easiest way to enter prescriptions is to use the number pad on the right hand side of the keyboard with the enter key. Click given to pull through the prescription down into what you're giving them. You can adjust it slightly there if you need to. BVD, put in the BVD. These boxes can be used for anything else extra you ha might have on a refraction. Ocular health screen. You can click on all as before to pull through the previous details or click R plus L and R plus L for all healthy. The default values can be set by yourself. Put in the CD ratios and you can insert tonometry. It will automatically put the time in for you when you do that. If you're using drops, use the drop-down box, choose which they are, and you can insert the batch number and expiry date. FIT for further investigate techniques, you can use for colour vision and stereo and anything else you might have that's extra. The final screen brings it all together where you can put in if there was an early retest code and any particular reason for it. PX advice, what you've advised the patient. Dispensing advice, what you advise them on dispensing. And the RX comments for if they've got anything you want to print on the prescription. Print button will print out the dispensing sheet for the dispenser. Private RX will print off a private prescription. The voucher buttons will calculate the voucher required and the GOS 2 and 3 buttons will print off your vouchers. If you need to refer a patient, click on GOS 18. There's a drop down box for templates or you can just type in the box for the wording you wish to appear on the GOS 18. Once you have your wording in, 
just click on Print Gloss 18 to print it out. This will be saved for future. The main menu button will then take you back to the main menu. A quick exam, such as an ingrowing eyelash, where you don't want to record a full eye examination. Bring up the patient details and click on exam to go to the exam screen. Click in pop in exams in the bottom left corner. This screen is very much a freehand screen. Click new record as always. Choose the optom. Put in your symptoms, clinical examination and any advice. You can click on the Rx button to pull through prescription from previously and you can print out vouchers if necessary. You can also refer from this screen. All exam screens automatically lock when you leave them. If you return to an exam screen to add or alter it, you can click in the lock box to unlock it before making your changes. After a week, you cannot unlock an exam screen anymore. When you finish, click close to return to the exam screen and click main menu to go back to the main menu.